Hi, this is Sarah Levis, and today I'm reading my post, Checking Myself, Ricky Gervais as Derek Noakes. When I saw the disability activist Nikki Clark had interviewed Ricky Gervais about yet another disability-related issue, I just died a little. After the Mongate incident last year, where Gervais caused controversy by referring to his Twitter followers as Mongs and pulling faces in his Twitter pics that made him look like a man with Down syndrome, you'd think that he'd just steer clear of everything disability related. However, his latest television project, featuring Gervais as Derek Noakes, has got the lines buzzing again. The Goods on Derek Noakes the Independent describes Derek Noakes, whose first name is also the title of the show, as a kindly but simple helper at a nursing home who appears to have learning difficulties. Comedian Stuart Lee has described Derek Noakes as having some superficial similarities to Down syndrome. It's difficult to tell the extent to which Gervais plays Derek Noakes as a person with disabilities from the clips currently available on the internet, and the show doesn't debut on Britain's Channel 4 until Thursday. Gervais insists that he's never seen Derek Noakes as a person with disabilities, or he would have hired someone with disabilities to play him. In the words of some South Park character, I call shenanigans, or I think that's bullshit for those who aren't familiar with South Park. At least, I did it first. In light of Mongate, and the fact that Gervais' last show was about someone with dwarfism, drawing a lot of publicity, both negative and positive, for his treatment of people with dwarfism, Gervais has been getting just too much attention for his views on disability and his feelings about offending people with his comedy about people with disabilities. And all his comedy in general, really. Since Gervais seems to be of the even negative press is good press school of public relations, of course it doesn't matter that he's received as much criticism as he has support. It's all attention, and it's all on him. I was disgusted with this latest incarnation of it, quite frankly. As is my right, Mr. Gervais, by the way. You have the right to free speech. I have the right to be offended by what you say, no matter how much you insist that it's wrong that I am. However, Ricky's comment about to Nikki Clark about how if if he said that Derek Noakes wasn't disabled, he, he wasn't, and then a subsequent comment about Sheldon from the Big Bang Theory got me thinking. I've talked before about how my friends in social services and I are convinced that the Sheldon Cooper character in CBS's hit sitcom The Big Bang Theory has Asperger's Syndrome although it's never been acknowledged by anyone involved with the show. If someone involved with the show was to say, Sheldon doesn't have Asperger's, he's just quirky, I suppose I'd feel that I have no choice but to accept that. I've never felt that his character was particularly insulting to people with Asperger's because you could interpret him as having it. I actually quite enjoy the show and the Sheldon character. It's funny that I'm willing to give the producers of the Big Bang Theory more latitude than I am Ricky Gervais with Derek Noakes and his new show. I may have to examine how much of this is really about Derek Noakes and how much of it is residual annoyance about Mongate, which really did make me angry. I've linked to a post that I did about the whole Mong controversy when it happened and to uh, all the articles that I mentioned in the post and to the uh, Big Bang Theories website for those who are more curious about it. And that's that post. I hope you enjoyed it.
Thanks for listening.